hey, uh, I'm in northern Florida um, at Coldwater Gardens. It's so beautiful out here. It's so peaceful. I'm breathing. My head's clear. Honestly, this is what it's all about. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the benefits of fasting. I want, There was one point in my life where I began to change. My mindset be began to change. I became, I became really interested in in disciplining myself and pushing myself and I became really interested in health and nutrition and one of the biggest keys I found was in Elijah Muhammad's How to Eat to Live and he he went through the the benefits of fasting in a, in a very short clear and concise way and he he kind of gave the how, how the Muslims think about the practice of fasting and and really honestly this practice has 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 been used in Hinduism it's been used in Buddhism it's, it's said in the Bible that Jesus fasted so I, I was wondering if if all of these re, all of these amazing religious figures have fasted if if this is something that people have been talking about since the early times of, of mankind then it's it's something that I'm gonna have to try and I kind of wonder why pe why people don't fast anymore and what would life be without food so one day I decided to fast and the first day was extremely difficult it was hard to get through but then over time my body really started to adapt and to be able to handle uh, being hungry for short periods of time then one day I, I fasted for a whole five days and it it was really tough. Yeah, I was, I was, it, it, it I, 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 I never really passed out, but I was really exhausted. But at the same time, my head w was completely clear. And when you fast, it's your, it, the strange thing is your head becomes so clear. It becomes crystal clear. And that made me really see the importance of food has on our mental states and our, and and on what we think. I think if you eat bad food, not only will you have an unhealthy body, but you're gonna have an unhealthy mind. And even though it's important to eat good food, you it's it's also important to give your body a time to, to just rest. And when you fast, what happens is your body goes to sleep. Your your digestive systems your, your, your digestive system isn't, isn't working anymore. So it gives your body time and space to rest and with, without so much pressure. Your, your mind becomes clear, your body becomes clear. When you're fasting, it, it, it's your body's cue to, to one, focus on, on solving problems that may, that, or imperfections that may be in the body. It, it cures sickness. It, it when you fast, it what happens is it it focuses the energy that you would be using on digestion to to fight diseases. It's it's the the Greeks said and or Hippocrates said that fasting is the best medicine. And and Aristotle said that that he fasts for mental clarity and mental efficiency. And that that's truly what it does. It, I mean, most importantly, I, I think that it, it really, it really teaches you that you're, that you're not your body and your body's not you. It gives you that, that opportunity to look inward in a world that pushes you to look outward. And, and it, it's, it's very freeing in a way because you, because you build up the type of discipline and the type of self-control to where you know that you can go without food for a little while that you're just not a subject of your body and and you can and you can mentally and actively control what what your body does and you're not just going with your base urges and that's a very powerful freeing feeling it, I, in that I can see why fasting is such a widely known spiritual practice because when you fast it 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 gives you that time to look inward and it and it clears your head for you to be able to listen to what to what the world's telling you to listen to what your what your soul is telling you
So it, it's <sighs> so yeah. It's it's just I would I would really um, recommend fasting. It's it, it's an amazing practice. It, it, modern medicine is isn't telling you the truth. The truth is, we need to come back to things like fasting. We need to, we need to allow, we need to eat healthier food, and we need to get away from all the pills. and And the first step to doing that is is to go uh, is to go on regular fast, or just maybe one day, um, say I'm not going to eat for a day and see how I feel. And and it may be tough at first, but if you if you stick with it for a little bit, I'm sure you, you'll see the benefits and you'll and you'll see what I mean. It it's it gives your body a time to rest it gives your mind a time to heal it, it gives you an opportunity to heal spiritually and it, it helps you bring come back to your base it's it's also been known to to um, provide a type of oxidative stress on your brain to where your brain grows and becomes stronger and that you you have you have mental toughness from from denying yourself and and strength from denying yourself Gandhi talks a lot about fasting and and he's a good source to look at he Gandhi fasted uh, for for mental strength for mental clarity to to sometimes as a punishment and sometimes to make a statement and and every day it can you or, or every time you fast you can make a statement to yourself that you're an act you're you're going to actively control your body. You're going to actively control your health, and you're going to actively control your mind. And this is, and this will help you with your health. This will help you spiritually, and it will help you mentally.